Behind me here is one of the most sketchy looking 1860s gold mines that I've ever attempted to enter. Normally I would go into gold mines that are made from solid hard rock like this, but in this case, part of the mine is made up from mountainous float. This is the rock and gravel that's breaking up and traveling down the mountainside, making the top of this mine incredibly unstable. And it's um at this point that I should mention that yeah, people know where I am and I've taken other safety precautions. Don't try this if you don't know what you're doing. Got my wombat fighting pick and off we go. That is super cool. It's not too far in and it's fully collapsed, so I'll take you in. Oh, there's no hoop snakes down here. Look at this. Oh, wow. Little alcove. That is very cool. And it wouldn't be an Aussie mine without a nice tasty spider. One of the most interesting things I can see so far is just the compression within the rock. Look how the earth has folded this piece of rock up into a hoop, much like a fingerprint. And this is just a little bit of the leftover ore that they were chasing in the sidewall here. See beautiful quartz, very heavily mineralized. I'd love to take a significant sample of this stuff, but I just don't think I'm gonna be able to access the quantity I need. And this is quite a substantial collapse just here has come out of the ceiling, which is not ideal. So we've got two little alcoves. I'm not gonna push forward into this area because quite obviously it's been a, quite a substantial collapse just here. Oh, I see freedom. Oh, oh this is gonna suck. <coughs> That's so professional. Fernie, did you enjoy that or not? The first mine I went into is significantly bigger than this one, but this one's more open and it looks like it goes back way further. That is a pretty cool looking mine. And I reckon it's gonna go back a lot further. Now, Mr. Wombat, if you're in here, could you please go away? Nice. Oh, this is way more open. Way more open. The drive's actually heading uphill, which is very cool. Oh, look at that Widowmaker. <laughs> Just dangling there. I'm so f scared right now, you shut up! We will cautiously go around that. Oh, we've got one little alcove off to this side. Very short little drive off to one side. And this is where it ends on this side. Look at that. And here's some of the ore that they were chasing on the side wall. It actually looks like another prospector has probably been here in the recent past because you can see where they've chipped off a whole bunch of this quartz out of this side. I wonder if they got anything. You can see that same mineralization coming out in the small piece of quartz that I managed to chip out of the wall. Whoever it was that came through here and chipped this out left a lot of stuff just laying on the ground. So I'm gonna be able to make a lot easier work by just picking this stuff off and taking this home for a crush sample. These weren't even the mines that I was trying to find today. We've gotta to go further out into the bush to get to where I want to be. It was a good spot to accidentally stumble across and getting a little bit of quartz might give us a little bit of gold and somewhere to come back to in the future. So I'm not gonna detect this today. We're gonna to go to the next spot. Sweet baby cheeses, that was an adventure. I didn't do much filming at all because um, it's hard to show you gradient, but this is at least like a 30 degree angle. At any rate, I think that's how- Ah! Spider! Ugh. Excuse my momentary panic, it's spider season in Australia, and it just means that there's heaps of those guys hanging around. What I was saying is this is definitely a waste rock pile down here, and that means that we must be near the mine. According to the historic records, there is four open stopes and two adits in this area. The adits are apparently collapsed according to the history books, but that's okay. We get to detect and we're hoping to find specimens in their waste rock. That is 100% with certainty a waste rock pile, but I can't see where the mine is. There's, there's no collapsed entryway anywhere. Look at the quartz. Have you ever seen a man get excited by rocks before? Cause you're about to. This is just in their waste rock. This looks good. I figured the smartest place to start would be on this exposed quartz, right? Because the more quartz you've got, the greater the chances they've cut across a vein that's holding gold. I've got a really decent sounding signal here, but it could be junk. All right, we're moving the rock. <laughs> it went from extremely nice sounding to very disappointing in about two minutes. 
the bigger the mine, generally speaking, the more rubbish you end up finding because there's more industry. So I like to stick to small mines. Maybe, maybe today's the day I changed my mind. I might find a big one. Oh, past Chris, how you did not know how right that statement would become. What is that? So even in Australia, I've never seen all the animals and that looks amazing. I'm trying to give you guys some context for scale, but this, this thing is huge. Look at it. But whatever it is, it better be a good omen because I need to find some gold today and I found another mine that we're going to detect. This is typically a noise I don't like to hear, but have a listen. Well, maybe. That got better. If that's a piece of gold, it's going to be massive. So I'm going to bet it's a bit of iron. That's why it went from sounding good to sounding terrible. Bit of iron. I just dug the deepest hole of the entire day for this, which is pretty cool. It's an old rock wedge. It's not gold, but it's going to come home with me and I'm definitely going to restore that. So that'll be coming up very soon. Oh, I bet this is going to be junk because it's pretty loud, but you never know. Hey, first scoop. I mean, I'd love it if it was just a big hunk of gold. But it's way too loud. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is a funky looking rock. Oh! Really? Really? Oh, I can see the gold. Oh, finally. Oh, it's been such a hard day. Bro, what a day. I haven't been able to find the mine that was marked on the map. There's meant to be four of them. I found the waste pile of one of them. And and now after all that, I got a, I got a signal in this rock that sounds so nice. I can see the gold on the end of it. <laughs> oh, that's what it's about, guys. That's what it's about. All that work comes together and you pull a piece of gold out of the ground. Something that people have been looking for. Something that literally dozens of other people working this mine were looking for. And it's right here. The gold is just on the very tip of the rock here. And it's a screamer. It's really loud. So it's a good indication that there's going to be a solid piece in that. And I cannot wait to see how that cleans up. You're not going to believe this. It sounds like there's more in the hole. Man, if there's more than one bit here, it's made the whole day worthwhile. I wish I, I wish I had shared more of the hike with you, but it was hard going. Okay, we moved it. Can't tell if I've moved it or if it's, I think it's still on the ground. I hope it's another really good bit. God, I hope it's another good bit. Uh, that's very loud. Like the other one was very loud, but this one's very loud. So, I'm starting to think it's going to be a bit of junk that was just next to it. That's all right. All right, we got it out. Somewhere here. First scoop, big bit of quartz. <laughs> it's another bit! Yes! I'm just trying to see if I can't see the gold in it. Ah, uh, it's definitely in that piece of quartz. Oh, it's screaming. It's gonna be a good bit. This tiny little hole on the side of the hill that's not even marked on the map that I'm using to find the other mines has given me two pieces of gold already. That is... <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. But it's like the dizziness of highs and the crushing lows it's just all over the shop because i got two pieces here sometimes it's a spill so they throw up a whole heap of rock and that rock that they think is waste has a few more pieces in it so it's going to clear an area i fall down the hill ah just to see if i can't get any more signals out of it that certainly might not be all of it i got another signal just here i've taken about two inches off the top Not as loud as the other ones, but I'll take any gold at this point. All right, that's a lot of dirt removed, so we should have moved it. That's very loud now. Wow, okay. Just clear the hole out. 
if that's gold, it's actually going to... I've changed my mind. If that's gold, it's going to be a good bit. There's a lot of quartz in this. If that's gold, it's going to be a nice bit. Who knows, there might be another... There might be another chisel. Don't be a chisel, be a big bit of ore. Big bit of ore, come on. We're down a fair ways. What's that? Eight inches? Okay, it's out. All right, somewhere in this area. Oh, scoop. Let's see how we go. Don't be a bit of crap. Big, that's a big bit of quartz. <gasps> no fucking way. <laughs> That, that overloads the whole fucking machine on every angle. Normally if there's a little chunk, it'll only overload the machine on like one angle. Like if I detect this side, it'll overload. If I detect this side, it won't. That's every angle. That is a, there's no way. This is literally why I've changed to doing hard rock. That's, that's just. <laughs> I think I might have another one. That sounds like one. All right. Okay, with it, all the luck I've been having so far, what's the bet it's that big bit of quartz? <laughs> oh. How your luck can change on a dime. Fernie, power bar. Fernie, thank you for being just the best good luck charm ever. Super easy to get carried away with spots like this when you find nice gold consistently all of a sudden. What it actually indicates is that they cut through a vein, whether they got contamination in their waste rock from the main vein, or they cut through a side vein that was carrying gold they didn't know about, and they throw it all out into the waste rock in one go. All of the pieces I found have been in the line that the detector is currently sitting on, and I have another piece, or I suspect another piece, just up in here. Ground balance. We might have another one. Very loud. But then, every single signal I've dug up today has been very loud. It'd be great if this wasn't a rusty piece of crap. Well, the only thing that got left in the scoop of any significance is that big rock. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. The sun may be setting, but uh, this, this never ever gets old, ever. <sighs> the giant sky fireball is going down, and I gotta walk out. And I'm exhausted after a, what was a big day. We got gold at this mine. I wanna see what kind of gold comes out of the quartz. I'm gonna come back and make a plan about how to attack this spot. The first thing I've done since getting home is cleaning the mud off the specimens I detected late in the afternoon. This big specimen I dug up at 8 inches and it screams on every side and there is a little bit of visible gold in it but I know it's going to be loaded. The clearest and easiest piece of gold to see is that piece just there but there is a ribbon of fine gold that runs all the way down this black seam and then down into this section here. Whereas the gold on a specimen like this is apparently obvious because it's just hanging out the end of the quartz there. These two specimens are spectacular. I have a piece of gold hanging out this side and it continues continues along the iron all the way up and through here, whereas this one I am definitely not crushing. Not only is there a massive nugget of gold sitting out this side, it runs all the way through the iron stone on top. I'm going to show you a really cool trick with a multimeter to figure out whether or not we're going to crush these specimens or keep them whole. When you're gold prospecting, you always want to try to value add to the gold that you find. And you can do that in the case of specimens by making them show pieces. Show pieces are naturally structured gold sitting inside their host rock without any damage. And you do this by dissolving the quartz around the gold with acid or in my case, caustic soda. But that is only going to work if this piece of gold here is attached to the very fine gold that's running up on this 
this side. Currently my multimeter screen is reading OL and that means that there is no way for electricity to meet between these two diodes. So when I touch it to a piece of metal, which is going to be the gold in this case, if it shows a reading of zero, it means there is no resistance between these two and electricity is connecting, meaning that the piece of gold I'm touching on this side and the piece of gold that I'm touching on this side are actually connected within that specimen and I can dissolve it. So we're going to touch the piece of gold that's displaying on this side, which is a big bit, and I got a really small bit over here. And there we go, there's no resistance, meaning that those pieces of gold are connected. Now there is a really big piece of gold, or really small piece of gold, should I say, down here. I wonder, no, that's not connected. All right, so we've definitely got a nugget in this area. This specimen's a little bit less obvious. I got a piece of gold just here, and a very small piece of gold here, so we're gonna to touch those two. And they are connected. That means that whole side of this piece of quartz is containing a piece of gold that's connected. So these two are not gonna get crushed. We're gonna turn them into specimen pieces at a later date. I've run that multimeter test on this piece and I cannot get any connectivity between this piece of gold or any other pieces of gold. So it looks like for the most part, this rock is full of very fine gold. So the big rock's getting crushed, and I know we're gonna see a very significant gold take from this rock. Because the detector was screaming on it at eight inches deep. There we go. I am hoping that when I tip this out, we're gonna see gold just everywhere through the rock. Is there gonna be any like ribbons of gold? Is there gonna be any nuggets sticking out that I can see? Considering this is the loudest gold specimen I have ever dug up, I can't find a single piece of gold in that, so we're just going to straight away crush it. I'm simultaneously so excited and so terrified to see what comes out of this because that was a very loud signal in the field and right now I'm staring at a pile of dust that should be containing a fair amount of gold. But by exactly the same token, I am worried that it's just iron or a false signal or there'll only be a little bit and it was a halo effect. I just want a big win because it was so loud. I am gonna pan this down so slowly. Oh, I've already got heaps of gold at the back. Nah, it's gonna be a good crush. Can you guys see all of that fine gold ringing the back of the dirt there? Oh, I'm actually afraid to take this pan down any further because I reckon I'm gonna start losing a lot of fine gold. So I'm gonna refine this further inside one teaspoon at a time, but we're gonna have a sneak peek at what's at the bottom. There is so much fine gold in this pan that I know I'm gonna wash stuff out if I don't go really slowly. So I won't know the total till the end of my session at this mine, but for now we can at least have a quick look at what's in the bottom, right? And I reckon, I got a feeling it's gonna be good. I can already see pieces of gold coming down just here. Oh my freaking God. That's sticking out of the sand. No, 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 I'm not even, that is sticking out of the sand. I hope you can see that on camera. There is gold all through that sand. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh, that is all through it! That is all through it! That is a pile of gold! <gasps> no! 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 Look! Look! That's a pile of gold! There is just as much gold in there as there is sand. Are you kidding? No way, no way. Oh. Oh. That's the biggest gold nugget I've ever found. There is no way. <laughs> Years of work and I've... This is so incredibly difficult to explain how important this is. This is years of work, guys. Years of work for something like that. Oh, I've never seen anything with that much gold come out of it in one rock. What the hell? <laughs> I'm glad I stopped panning because there's, I would have, 
I would have lost so much gold. There is, that is insane. Because for a single rock to give me that amount of gold is just insanity. There is 100% going to be more of these pieces of ore producing that kind of gold sitting in that old mine.